and those high temperatures, of course, affecting schools as Mike was just talking about. That's right. This heat is forcing some districts to make major schedule changes this week, and that includes Pontiac schools who will have a half a day today. Detroit schools where there'll be uh, a dismissal three hours early and Southfield schools are completely closing for the day. Now for Southfield that includes all school related afternoon and evening activities. Now classes will be back in session tomorrow and seven action news reporter Faraz Javed is now at Alder Elementary in Southfield with more and how the temperatures impacting schools today for us. So Alicia, right after the Labor Day weekend, classes were set to resume at Southfield Public School District, but due to a possibility of record high temperatures, the doors are going to remain closed to keep students at home. Parents and guardians are making last minute adjustments. I work with kids, so I knew that there was a heat wave coming, mm -hmm. uh, but I was hoping, I was hoping they would be there. Aubriol Katuma's two little ones go to Southfield Public Schools. They were off on Friday mm -hmm. as well. I wasn't ready for that, so that was a surprise. So now we go from Friday to Monday and now Tuesday. So it definitely requires some extra planning to accommodate that. With temperatures expected to hit 90 across Metro Detroit, the Southfield Public School District is closed for today and all school-related activities are canceled. The district says 10 of their buildings need HVAC upgrades. In a statement, Super Superintendent Jennifer Green writes the safety and well-being of our students and staff are our foremost priorities. She goes on to say while she understands it's inconvenient, the closure is necessary to protect everyone from the excessive heat. But Southfield isn't the only district dealing with excessive heat. Detroit Public Schools Community District will dismiss students three hours early today. However, Dearborn School says it'll open its classrooms. In a letter to parents, Superintendent Glenn Maleko writes, while many schools have limited air conditioning, classes will go on as scheduled, saying in part, closing the entire district would not only create an inconvenience for many of our families, but we would be depriving our students of their education learning opportunities. We will take appropriate precautions while ensure that students are hydrated, will limit physical activities, and will move instruction to cooler locations in the schools as necessary and as determined by staff in specific buildings. Now, Dearborn says four of its schools will get the much needed AC upgrades. Uh, meanwhile, here in Southfield, the school district says that the air conditioning repairs at 10 of their buildings will be done in phases as part of their bond program. Keenan, I'm just glad that you're back and you know, you're ready to face the heat with us. Yes, he is ready to face the heat for us.